This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my first impressions of the Sailor 1911 in the standard size. Now, the pen I have here is in the ivory color with gold trim. When I saw this, when I found it online and I ordered it, I thought, yeah, that's a pretty pen. I really like that color combination. And when I got it and saw it in real life, it was um, love at first sight. I really like this color combination. And another thing I really like is the size. Now the standard size is the smaller of the 1911 line. Now with the, the Pro Gear, the Pro Gear is the middle and then the Pro Gear Slim is the smaller one. But with the 1911, the 1911 standard is the smaller one and this is comparable uh, this kind of parallels the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And I'll probably do a comparison of a, the two in a later video. But when I got it out of the package, I just, I really love the size. It, uh, I've got smaller hands, and this is just ever so slightly smaller than most of my other cigar-shaped pens. And it's just like this pen was made for me. Um, it's a cartridge converter pen. I've got a cartridge in it right now that I have filled with uh, Dimine Earl Grey. It fits my hand whether I post it, whether I leave it unposted, it fits nicely. And when I post it, it posts nice and deeply. So it also fits my hand really real well. The center of gravity feels like it's right here resting on my hand. I like the shape of the section. The threads are, you just can't hardly feel them. They're not uncomfortable at all. There's a tiny little step that is, you know, no problem at all. Now, when I took the pen out of the package, I inked it up with Diatramentus Sherlock Holmes, and I did some writing samples, and when the nib hit the page, my first thought was, wow, this is super smooth. This is a uh, really a, a huge difference from my Pro Gear Slim that has a fine nib. There's quite a bit of feedback with that, but this medium nib with uh, the, dia the yeah, Diatramentus Sherlock Holmes was super smooth. So I've been looking for a pen to put uh, my Diamine Earl Grey in. It seems to be, in my experience, a pretty dry ink. So I was looking, that's one of the reasons I got this medium nib. I typically prefer fine nibs, but I've got this giant bottle of Earl Grey and I'm ha having trouble finding a, a pen that it really works well with. And so I went ahead and did a few writing samples, cleaned the pen out, and inked it up with Diamine Earl Grey. And I'm glad I tried the Diatramentus ink first because I, it, I don't have that, wow, this is a smooth writing pen experience with this. There's quite a bit more feedback. Let me do a little writing sample here. I like... I like the line that this puts down. You're going to see that it's, for a medium, it's on the fine side of medium. And I've got it, I'm going to be writing on a page here with some Lamy writing samples, and you'll see the difference. And this is not unpleasant, but it's just not as smooth as it was with the Diatramentus Sherlock Holmes. Um, with the Diatramentus Sherlock Holmes, um, it, you know, was like, wow, this is smooth.
but I like a gray ink paired with this pen. It, I, I do like it. Let's see. So it feels like just a, a well-tuned nib. Um, but I am going to note this ink is dry. I don't know, and I, I just, I think I wish it was just a little bit more saturated, but that's the ink. The pen itself, I really like this. Um, I was watching a, a live stream, uh, Mike Madison and his wife Audrey, who uh, is a, a nib grinder, a nib meister for Franklin Kristoff, and I mentioned to them that I found my new favorite pen, and I told them it was a, a Sailor 1911 with a medium nib. And they commented that Sailor nibs aren't, uh, the tipping is not perfectly round. And, you know, that's the reason they're not quite as smooth. They have a reputation for uh, not being scratchy, but not being super smooth. Just they have a a characteristic feedback that's like, yeah, that's, that's a sailor nib, and um, but what I've found is with the right ink, you're going to have a significantly different writing experience. And I noticed that with my Pro Gear Slim, um, it it tends with that. It's a fine nib, and it writes really fine. Um, with a drier ink in it, or with just a what I would call a regular ink, it tends to write kind of dry. And the Sailor black ink that it, that is in the ink cartridges that it came with, I noticed I was trying it in some of my other pens, and I thought, wow, this black ink is really wet. Man, it really kind of gushes out of the pen. But it works with, well with that Pro Gear Slim. So maybe Sailor pens are just tuned to be to write slightly drier and sailor inks maybe lean toward the wet side. I don't know if that's a generalization you can make or if it was just the, the black ink tends to be kind of wet. But um, yeah, I think the Pilot Custom 74 has been displaced as my favorite pen. I think uh, the Sailor Pro Gear 1911 is my new favorite pen and I've been journaling with it I'm not gonna sell off my collection or anything I um, I know when I got the Pilot Custom 74 I thought this is the best pen ever I don't need any other pens I'm gonna sell my collection but um, I got over that and I like to use my ink, my pens and inks in pairs. And I've been using this pen with my Jin Hao that I have the Nemesign um, .6 stub in. And I've got it inked up with uh, Iroshizuku Chiku Ren, which is a, like a kind of a, a light green, a, a lime green, and so that lime green and this uh, gray ink just really look good together. That broader nib paired up with this kind of a, a fine medium. Um, yeah, this kind of writes like a fine medium. And if you can compare it, let's see, if we compare it to the Lamy's, if you compare that medium to the fines and the extra fines up here, this may be closer 
This sailor medium may be closer to the Lamy extra fine. So, and I would also say, I've done a few comparisons. This, the line that this puts down is really similar to a Twisby fine. It's really close to the Pilot Petite One fine. They're almost indistinguishable. And it looks like it's really close to the Lamy Extra Fine. So if you're a fan of fine nibs, but you want something a, a little bit broader, not needlepoint fine, this Sailor Medium is a nice, a nice pen. So I'll be using it some more. I'll have a, a more thorough review in the future. But if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.